we're seeing him going with the forearms once again into Ooh. this loading screen against Little Caps Bodvar for game number one. All right, and oh, all right, yeah, this is a great map for playing uh, the forearms. Just because massive signatures, some of them even have a ton of carry built into them. And, I mean, small Brawl Haven, you're going to score knockouts very early. Yeah, it's actually remarkable how similar Bodvar and forearms to side stick on Hammer is in terms of what it does on the ledge, which oh, is delete your socket. Slam. Yeah, delete your, your socket, socket yellow. So we'll see who's able to land more side sticks this game as he picks up the gauntlets against Little Cap Sword. Little Cap doing a great job on this first stock, just staring Boomy over and over again. Can he get the last side or no? Nice recovery from Boomy, riding up the edge, hits Little Cap away, but Little Cap still has stage control. D Light recovery, one more of those will take him off the top, most likely. That oh. slider catches Boomy without a dodge. Yeah, that was big. I mean, Boomy went for that, that gravity cancel down light on gauntlets, and Little Cap able to get just over it for that punish. Oh, and just oh, outranges that hammer neutral light. Yeah, a sword is longer than your leg. See you later, forearms. Yeah, Little Cap's just playing really solid standard play there on the sword, just hitting Boomy and winning a neutral every single time. A bunch of siders, and, and that was it. Now Little Cap onto the hammer, looking for those stomps that he's so well known for as Boomy's still oh. playing primarily on the gauntlets. And oh, I, wait, he has a dodge. Okay, he, he played so dangerously on the ledge there, and I think it was because he was baiting Little Cap to get into that neutral stick. But he doesn't fall for it, and Little Cap continues to get more damage. One sider comes through, can Boomy get the stock? Really threatening that corner. Oh, and just threatens it even harder. He's like, I punched the ground twice. Now I'm really going to punch the ground. Down Sig will do it. Not enough force to take him off the top of the stage. That neutral air. Damn nice to jump the down lane. Neutral air into recovery. Another nair comes through. Side oh lane. My. Recovery. Oh, the nair just barely doesn't get him, but he just does so much damage to Little Cap. Now Boomy taking the lead and trying to go for a quick finish with that side sig. Yeah, that was that kind of gauntlets flow where, like, everything works. And I don't know how that bear keeps working. Lil Cap does yeah. stomp into bear, and everyone, they either don't dodge, or they just get caught by it because they're not dodging out. It's like Lil Cap just knows. He sets them up for hibernation, and he's in there for winter. Yeah, little, it was actually so interesting to see Boomy diagonally dodge straight into, like, the center of the bear and get Lil hit Cap's by so the good. full force of the move. Little Cap doing amazing with that attack. And now on the sword, once again, small lead. Avoids the neutral sink coming up from the stop. Very quick dodge from Little Cap. Oh, and the dealer recovery. That's so much damage. Oh, and the neutral sink catches as well. Boomy just keeps jumping into Little Cap and getting punished for it over and over again. I feel like he needs to just mix up a little bit. Maybe go for a weapon throw. Dash in, dash back. Stop giving Little Cap these opportunities just to punish every single landing. Oh. I mean, he just punches him straight in the face. I mean, a lot of these, it's really, Boomy is just missing by a hair. Lil Capped outspacing, I mean, he's playing footsies phenomenally well. He knows these ranges, but Boomy, determined to get that knockout, stomp into side air. Now we've got last stock apiece, but Boomy has quite the hill to climb. Yeah, but last time he was in this position, we saw him get a nice, like, eight-hit string on Lil Cap, and it's starting again. Nair to recovery hits once more. He doesn't get that one Nair. But he is continuing to get more and more damage. Little Captain does break the flow of battle there with that falling neutral air. Boomy trying to go for the double side lights and they're not connecting on Little Capt. It's close, but stops oh there. It's gosh. like it. Oh, so close. Little Cap doesn't get the ground. He doesn't get the down air. And Boomy fighting back. Sideline hits. Boomy, can he get that side thing? I mean, at this point, either player could land a signature at the edge, and that will be the stock. It is closer oh. than it looks. Man, Boomy, he had to land those exclamation points for coming out. So he, he doesn't have that much time left on the ledge here. Oh, gets it? No! Misses the three-piece just at the last connection. But the gravity cancel signature. Boomy on the board. 1-0. Wow, that was an incredibly close game. I mean, that gravity cancel dance came out in a nick of time. And Little Cap taking off the top just like he was in that previous stock. We just saw in that replay. That down mm. working wonders for Boomy. Stomp Sider for that knockout. Yeah, what an incredibly close game. I mean, like, look at that. He had so much more damage on him than Little Cap did, but it's small Brawl Haven. And now we're going on to a really small stage, but slightly larger blast zones. Demon Island for game number two. All right, so considerably smaller walls here. And I mean, we're working with two legends that have a ton of attacks that can spike you downwards. Some that are even, you know, hey, you're above them, they're going to take you down. These gauntlets neutral airs, obviously the hammer neutral air, something to really watch out for. 
Yeah, and then the reversal coming out from the hammer recovery <gasps> as well. Oh, that neutral light was nicely done. Um, I'm surprised by the lack of hammer side sticks for both of these players. I was honestly going to be expecting to see way more of that, but they're uh, just playing in a way that they just don't want to oh go for it. Oh, Once again. The bear! Once again. And I, I'm actually... I can't believe that that knocked out off the top. That was incredible. Little Cap knowing exactly the damage range that he needed to get that first stock in an incredibly early stock as well. Boomy fighting back on the hammer now. And last time he needed the gauntlets to be able to take out that stock really quickly. This time he's on the hammer. Let's see what he's able to do. There's the side six that I was looking for, and that's oh, yeah. the one that connects. Can he go for it again? When Boomy oh, starts hitting trying. those side six, I'm expecting him to throw out more and more of them. But Little Cap fighting back. Nice weapon throw. Pick up side Let's light. Go. The stop neutral six, taking him off the top with the hydrant. I didn't even know Demon Island had plumbing. But, you know, somebody's <laughs> going to have to fix that. I mean, somebody somebody had to chisel those stairs at the side, right? Okay, it makes sense that they put plumbing underneath it. They didn't want to have to all deal right, with all, all the right. problems that good plumbing, or lack of good plumbing, has to deal with. Now we have a little cap to avoid that ground pout. That's uh, that was very well done by him. Falling side air. Ooh, Gravity has a down light. Just a weapon throw to punish, even though that dodge was gone for so long. And the scoop will take him towards the top. Little cap trying to get those landing nares, maybe. One nair goes through. Doesn't connect. Boomy gets a nice dash jump side air. And the neutral stick doesn't get the oh, jump. Damn down by neutral air. It's a down air again. He goes for the recovery read. Little Cap reads it in return. Hits it with his own recovery. The air misses. Spot dodged into ground pound. Amazing punish from Boomy. Taking the lead in game two. Yeah, that was about as perfect as you could get it. And I mean, you know, when you're doing, hey, I want to spot dodge into ground pound, you always got to be a little bit careful because, hey, you don't want that accidental gravity cancel. So you really have to time it out. Now Boomy putting in a lot of extra damage on the stock. Deal that recovery is going to be enough. Little Cap has been incredibly accurate with uh, those knockout ranges. Not getting a, letting a single D-Light neutral sig or D-Light recovery not lead to a KO. Constantly getting them. And now getting a little bit of extra oh. damage. Oh, the down sig. Can we go for another down sig? It's like so scary to get hit by a boat of our down sig on Demon Island. I know. Like the, the walls are small enough already. And that one, it just covers the corner. It hits so hard. I mean, even just the mental damage, knowing you got hit by the Bear Claw Strike. Okay, a little cap fighting unarmed. He does pick up the weapon, but Boomy smartly punishes it with a dash to Sire. He like ground pound. I don't think little cap has recovery back. Okay, he did, but it doesn't matter. Jeez. Another one. Man, Boomy just determined right there. The slide kick always just catching, uh, catching little cap as he was peeking over the edge. I mean, that was just consistent. And now it is a 2-0 lead for Boomy in a set where I feel like it shouldn't be a 2-0 lead. Like, Boomy has really been doing a good job taking these comebacks, but Little Capped, for, for the most part, is winning a lot of these neutral exchanges. Boomy just has a little bit more explosive gameplay to take the stocks first. And now we're going back to Small Brawl Haven. Let's see if that is the same case as Little Cap needs to win this game to stay in the tournament. Oh my gosh, the unarmed to start it off, spot dodging the, the hammer strikes, really just pouring on the damage. Oh, Boomy! Are you kidding me? That reverse slide charge just grips him and rips him down off the stage. There's no coming back from that one. Ooh, and that is so different from all of the other starts these previous two games. Boomy with a huge lead, putting out the down zig now. Neutral light hits right afterwards. The side light misses, but Little Cap only gets a neutral light for his trouble. Trying to get this edge guard onto Boomy, the downlight sider does it. Will he go for a down air into ground pound? He goes all the way up, and no! The weapon throw covers the landing so that Little Cap can't get the D light on the way back down, and now Boomy continues to have this one stock lead over Little Cap. Yeah, I mean, Little Cap, he's got to do a ton of work so quickly to tie this up before it spirals out of control. Boomy Ooh, this time dodging gosh. a little bit later to avoid the bear. Yeah, timing those dodge throughs is really risky, especially considering how willing Little Cap is willing willing to go for that neutral after the stomp and how much they've been hitting. But Boomy seems to be adapting in just the right way and just in time, too. Dan Air hits, Nair pits him up to the stage, oh and oh, that's it. Oh, my gosh. Boomy, please, this anchor. How many times can he use it? How many directions is he going to throw Lil Cap? Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, that, the stuff recovery effects at zero was, the, that was horrifying. Okay, but he makes it back. Boomy, however, still getting damage to the recovery. That will take the stock. Is this going to be the reverse three stock that Lil Cap needs to stay in the game? Or is Boomy going to take a 3-0 to, to go into the next side of the bracket? Let's find out. Lil Cap fighting with that hammer. Stairs I mean, galore. 
This match has really just been controlled by Boomy. It would take a miracle for Lil Cap to come back, but you know what? It's not over till it's over. I still believe. Right. Oh, but that time Boomy's not even giving him the dodge in. He's like, I know, you only have one follow-up after Stomp, and that's Neutral's thing. He dodges back, <laughs> and he's ready to fight Neutral once again. Little Cap gets one down that recovery. Can he get any nares afterwards? Boomy struggling to get the combo starters, and that's when he's like, oh, oh yeah, hey. that's right. I have this anchor side stick hits. <laughs> Nearly takes the Little Cap from center stage, and I'm, I'm willing to bet he's going to go for it again. Dash jumps forward, side light recovery. Down oh, recovery, and that's clean. it. Yeah, that was just clean. He's he's like, all right, I identified. I've got you in that knockout range. All I need is this confirm. Bada bing, bada boom, out 3-0. And that means Boomy is moving up in the lower bracket to the lower court finals to fight against Cody Travis. And that Ooh. is a matchup to fight for fifth against Cody Travis. And on the other side is Santi and Koslix, and the winner of that has to go up against Stingray as we're seeing on this bracket here. The next Ooh. matchup we got is going to be exciting indeed. I know that Koslix isn't that used to riding into the lower bracket this early on. I mean, I, I remember talking about this in the last singles tur uh, tournament.